Sometimes you have to stand up to illegitimate authority. Sometimes you have to take risks. And sometimes even you break laws when the laws are unjust. said pregnant need help call Jane and it would have a phone number you could tell in the first <laughs> two seconds that this was a call about Jane because there was a pause. Uh, they weren't sure how to start, what to say. And so sometimes I'd say, either is this about Jane, or is this for an abortion, or are you looking for a service, are you pregnant? And then they would say their situation, often tearfully, often crying, often in rapid fire, or often haltingly frightened. I mostly try to put them at ease. We're here to help. As the women were coming through more and more seeking abortions, I learned from Dr. Howard what was involved, what, what should I advise the women to do beforehand, what was involved in the procedure, was there any pain involved, did they take, should they take medications, what if they were on medications, what was the follow-up, were there any uh, difficult signs that we should know about. If it seemed a simple case, I'd just I'd give them the name first of Dr. Howard's office without saying his name, then they would be in touch directly and work it out. Women of Jane came in and took this over and made it a much bigger operation, responding to a much greater demand. They also started publicizing it, and in women's journals, women's liberation journals, alternate newspapers, and even in some flyers. The Women of Jane discussed continuing to have women-centered services even after Roe, but on many it had taken a serious toll doing these procedures, so many under such pressure for so much time, and they decided to move on. Jane ended, but the spirit and the legacy continues. I got involved in this really as someone who wanted to follow the golden rule. I wanted to treat others as I'd want to be treated. Now, I've never faced the issue myself. I don't know what my decision might be, but I believe it's for women to decide when or whether they have a child. Mm -hmm.